Uh, we're going to be dealing with the, the word passport. It's, uh, I, I think to an extent, if you talk to the majority of people, their concept of having a passport, um, so well trained that they, they don't question things because they don't really look at the origin of where it's coming from. But, uh, most people relate to a passport as using it to get into some other country uh, in travel by plane. But in reality, uh, the passport, if you don't carry one uh, in the legal world, when you're a legal participant, you uh, can't leave. You need, you need that uh, document actually to get out. Uh, we'll confirm this just in the entomology of the words. When we look at passport, it says safe conduct, permission to leave or enter a port. So people are already in a prison. It's not just the name that's a compound name. So you're in a compound, a prison with the name, just based on your usage of words and what you've accepted to believe in and what you've accepted as an assignment uh, to be a legal participant. So the whole concept of sin and debt uh, and the legalism of the system is, is a prison of the mind. And once, uh, uh, once you're in this compound name, uh, using a pen, of course, which is another word for a compound, uh, you're really in intercourse with evil. Uh, you're, you're signing your own consent uh, to being a debtor, uh, which is the opposite of what the spiritual realm of God is. So the wake up is for, uh, especially I hope uh, those that b believe they're uh, a disciple of Christ or, or researching the Bible and realizing where the only hope is from scripture and the kingdom that was promised. Uh, but I'm also speaking with a, a new audience that I think has had the steam uh, kind of turned up on it with this uh, uh, pandemic uh, craziness that's out there right now. So. Uh, I, I just hope that people are understanding these words. We're going to, again, keep this, the uh, video simple. Uh, they may not all show up in order because sometimes we're, uh, uh, we're just basically uh, doing as best we can. So uh, bear with us. And if you have questions, you're going to have to bear with us in time because you can understand how many people um, have been uh, communicating uh, on the videos and sending us emails. So uh, be patient with us and uh, certainly we'll uh, do our best to have as much patience with you.